Hey, what's going on? Happy something. It's Saturday. It's not a. It's not a Wednesday. Hey, I've been wanting to do this for a while. This is. Uh, this is Nate's uh, Schwartzbeer. Is that showing up right? Yeah, Nate Schwartzbeer. Um, he wouldn't tell me what was going on with this one. He told me uh, drink it first, and then he would share the story with me afterwards. Um, not sure what that means. Uh, not sure I want to know. I don't know. Uh, I'll uh, I'll drink it and then I'll call him and I got to figure out how to get this video off my um, off my iPad. Uh, this is my iPad. I don't know. I normally use my iPhone, but my iPhone is is charging right now. So hopefully I can somehow figure out how to get this get this thing off my uh, off my iPad and onto my uh, onto my regular my, my regular phone. But anyway. Uh, be, it what it, be it as it may, man, I'm stumbling all over myself today. I haven't even had a beer yet today. Let's get into this thing. Uh, Schwartz beer is supposed to be smoky. Um, it's supposed to use uh, smoked malt in it. Uh, man, this thing is pretty. It's coming up with a nice, nice head. Uh, I'm going to pour everything in there since I don't know anything about this. And yeah, that is a nice pretty beer it's very dark uh you actually can see through it you can see um you can see ruby notes through it you probably can't actually maybe you can let me let's see if i can do this let you see the let you see the ruby notes can you see that eh, probably not maybe you could uh, anyway trust me it's a very pretty beer it's got a it's got a Got a tan head on it. It was about a finger, and it's kind of actually it's about three fourths of a finger, and it's starting to burn off now. Um, let's get some aroma. I get the slight smoky. I think not as much as I would have expected. I got a slight toffee when I first uh, sniffed it. Yeah, it smells very inviting. So. Anyway, cheers, Nate. Oh, that is interesting. Mm. If I didn't know better, it's almost struck me as uh, as like an oyster kind of uh, kind of beer. It reminds me a lot of a of a porter um, or an oyster stout, a smoky oyster stout is what it reminds me of. Are you sure you didn't? Maybe that's the story. You put oysters in this thing because um, I'm getting that kind of oyster. I'm getting that kind of oyster characteristic. I love this beer. This is really, really good. Um, I did do the uh, red velvet beer. I didn't post it because I didn't really like that beer, so I apologize. Um, uh, I'll send you a note, and, or maybe we can do a video chat and talk about it. Um, it was cool. It had really cool color. Um, just wasn't my thing, I think. But maybe I just don't like beet stuff. Mmm. Yeah, I'm thinking he's going to tell me, I'm thinking he's going to tell me he put some oysters in this and made this an oyster uh, Schwartz beer. Um, because this, I mean, there's this place we go, uh, Joe's, is it Joe's Oysters? Uh, I think it's Joe's Oyster Shack or something. It's in, in Old Town. And they have the best, they do, uh, there's these ones called Virginia Wolf, I think, and they're really salty, uh, really briny. Uh, they're, at first, they're, they're big. I mean, you know, you'll, we'll go there to Joy, Joe's Oyster Shack. I think it's in Old Town, Alexandria, and we'll get a big, you know, my son and I, we tear up some freaking oysters. And so we'll get three of this, three of that. I mean, we'll probably go through two or three dozen oysters. And the Virginia Wolf are the ones, the Salty Wolf, I think they call them Salty Wolf. Those things are I think they're local. Um, they're in the. I want to say they're in the Chesapeake, or maybe they're down by Norfolk. I don't know, but they are amazing. They're really, really good. 
But the last time we went down there, they had an oyster stout on tap and I got it and it reminds me totally of this. Yeah, so this beer right here would be awesome for oysters. Like perfect. Mm. Okay, let's give some more descriptors. Um, the dark malts in here are, I don't know how he did it, if he steeped them or he, or he did whatever, or um, he put them in towards the end of the boil, which or towards the end of the mash, which might might be what he did. I think he either, um, either put the dark grains at the end of the mash, maybe like the last 10 or 15 minutes, or he steeped them and did like a cold steep method or something and put them in after the mash uh, in the boil kettle because there's no astringency, there's no of that normal, you know, char, I don't wanna say char, but the kind of harsh kind of bittering that you get when you use really dark malts and you, you know, you, you, you put them in the mash and, and um, you get that like kind of burnt kind of deal. There's none of that in here. I mean, it's, I can tell the dark malts are in there, but it's done beautifully. It's very, it's very smooth. I get very, very slight on the smoke malt. So I think he, he, he did it just enough to be subtle. And it's kind of, it's kind of like when you're, uh, I think the last beer I did of his, um, that I reviewed, which was the, uh, scorpion pepper, uh, Gosa, same thing. He put just enough, uh, of the, I found out it was scorpion pepper salt, uh, some kind of salt with scorpion pepper, scorpion pepper salt. Um, he put just enough of that in there to uh, kind of give the, the hint of heat, but not, you know, you had to, it kind of slowly crept up on you. Uh, it wasn't, you know, uh, overpowering. And that's the same thing with the, with the, the smoke, it, it, you know, if that's, yeah, I'm pretty sure Schwartz, Schwartz beer is smoke, smoky beer. So um, pretty sure that, that that's, you know, same kind of deal. He, he put in just enough to kind of, because I can slightly smell it, but it's, it's not enough to overpower everything else. And I think by doing that, he really let the malt bill besides the smoke stand out because it's a, this is a really good recipe. I can't, I really want to hear the story now because I think I'm really digging this. This is nice. Whatever you did, if it was a screw up, you need to screw up again because this is, this is good, my friend. My well, mouthfeel is kind of between light and medium. I mean, it's a really nice, um, viscosity, you know, I love using that word. Uh, and then the, uh, carbonation is like just perfect too. It's not too light. It's not too heavy. It's, you know, right where you want it. Um, it reminds me a lot of a, of a dry stout, like a flavorful dry stout. Cause I don't usually like dry stouts because they're just kind of watery. This one has got some character. So it reminds me of a, of a really flavorful dry stout. Um, but the oyster quality, and you see how fast I'm, drink, I'm, I'm uh, drinking this thing. The oyster quality, yeah, that's what it smells like. Yeah, I just imagine I'm eating some oysters. So, well, as you can tell, Nate, I really thoroughly enjoyed this beer. It's almost gone. Let me finish the rest here. Mm. Yeah, I really dug that. All right, I'm going to call you now or send you a note because I want to know the story. Uh, great beer, my friend. I really appreciate it. It was just what the doctor ordered on a Saturday evening. Cheers.